Here we are in the Real Deal kitchen. It's uh, Friday, what is it, the 24th of March? It's been a very full week, and I'll tell you, it's been a rough one. But here we are, Friday, and Friday is girls' night, as I've said before, so I'm super looking forward to my cousin Noelle coming over, and I wanna make a treat for her because she doesn't eat, she eats some dairy products, but she doesn't use milk. And we've recently turned her on to um, how we've been making coffee in the morning with frothing, frothing the milk and putting on the coffee. So basically like our home version of cappuccino. But she doesn't, she doesn't use the whole milk. And so I'm making her some almond milk to use for her her coffee tomorrow morning and I'm excited to do this for her um, because I want to encourage her to start doing it at home for herself and you to start doing it at home for yourself rather than getting the store-bought almond milk which is really basically a lot of water and a little bit of almonds so the secret to making really delicious almond milk is you have to use almonds not like a half a cup to a ton of water but so basically what we've got here is a cup and a half of almonds that have been soaked overnight so they basically almost double up and we're going to blend that with about six cups of water and I like it sweetened you can totally do it unsweetened but this just gives it a little extra over-the-top deliciousness so we're adding eight dates and the recipe will be at the bottom of the of the little blurb here and one vanilla bean and if you didn't know this it's an interesting fact vanilla a vanilla bean is actually I think it's the stamen of an orchid plant so vanilla one of the reasons it's so expensive is um, it's from the orchid and uh, they don't grow, they, they, they take their time growing, let's put it like that. So it's not just a, a ready-made thing. So use your almond beans judiciously, right, for things that are really special to you. Now I'm adding a half a teaspoon of Himalayan salt and um, Himalayan salt has a lot of minerals and minerals basically help all the metabolic processes of your body again as I've said before I don't like to talk too much about nutritional nutritional things because I'm not a nutritionist but over the years I've come to understand certain things and they and just from a flavor point of view salt kind of marries everything together and enhances every other flavor that you have going. So there's a little bit of bitterness, especially if you keep the skin on with the almonds. There's a sweetness of the dates and the vanilla. And then um, you've got the salt bringing it all together. Now, if you've been watching for a bit, you know that I had some surgery on my neck, which is making it a little difficult for me to lift certain things. And I actually think this is gonna be a little difficult for me to pour, so I'm gonna have my dad do it. We already have four cups of water in here, and so we're gonna really feed this thing almost to the top. I actually think that's good. So we've got about maybe just a little under six cups of water to our um, one and a half cups of soaked almonds. And now we're placing the top on the Vitamix. Um, Vitamix or blend tech if you're gonna do almond milk you really want one of these more high powered um, blenders unfortunately because on a regular blender with almond milk it's gonna eat your blender alive and I learned that the hard way many years ago on the other hand you could do cashew milk if you want to make your own milk alternative and that's easy on any blender so you've got to start on low and low your lowest setting and then you turn it on it's going to be noisy get the blending going 
and then turn it down to low or high depending on the, the model that you have. I'm not selling any models of anything, but I do happen to like the Vitamix or the Vita Prep. Now the next important step here is the straining. So my dad's gonna come in to the process for this. And since we're doing a goodly amount, we're going to put it in a bowl with a fine mesh strainer. Some people use nut milk bags. I'm, I'm just not into them. Never have been. The fine mesh strainer works really well. We're going to take the, the Vita uh, prep top off. And then he's actually never done this before, right? No, I haven't. I'm going to pour it through. I don't like pouring it. And <clears throat> maybe we'll make a dual process here as he's pouring. And as I think most of you who have been watching are aware, I, I am mainly in a wheelchair, so that's why I'm kind of wheeling around here. He's pouring through the strainer. And most of it's going to go through pretty easily, but... I'm also stirring with a spoon. And so this basically gives you a very smooth almond milk. So it's taking out any of the, um, the skin. And you're left with a little bit of pulp. And a lot of people like to save the pulp to do various things with. I got into that for a while but then saving the pulp becomes a little tedious unless you're really, I did it when I was running my kitchen more full on. But um, now that I'm doing it more just for personal use and friends and family, I don't find any need to save the pulp. But if any of you are interested in having ideas for the pulp, then you can uh, comment on YouTube and I will answer your comments. My dad will finish the, because this is a little heavy now. Can you hold that up a little higher so they can see what you're doing? Yeah, so it's going through the strainer. Oh my gosh, it looks so beautiful. The vanilla, the vanilla bean, the darkness of the vanilla bean right against all the creamy whiteness of the milk. the almond milk itself. <clears throat> okay, so we've got most of that out. We're going to set the, um, the almond pulp just over the Pyrex a little bit more will come out. But again, Dad, will you lift that so they can see how beautiful this, the almond milk is? And now we're gonna pour it into quart containers. So another great thing about putting the, the salt in is that it acts as a little bit of a natural preservative for the milk. So you wanna use this almond milk within at the most five days kept well refrigerated. But I would say, you know, three days up to five days. And what will allow you to hold it for up to five days is if you add that little bit of salt 
which remember brings together all the flavors that we are talking about, a little bit of bitter, the sweetness, and that tiny salt, salty flavor enhances everything. And then um, also gives you a little bit of preservative. And so that's what we have from the Real Deal Kitchen today. I'm gonna reach over here a little awkwardly, like I said. We do this all all natural here. <laughs> we don't have any clickers or anything. We have maybe some of those to come to make it a little more refined as time goes on. But here we go. Goodbye for now from the Real Deal Kitchen. And thank you to all of you, Papa and Mama who won't come in. We'll get her in here one of these days. It's her beautiful kitchen that we're working in. Ciao for now.